Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about discourse markers in English. To start with, I would like you to consider some warming up questions. Please take a few minutes to reflect upon this subject topic and answer the following. First, what do you know about discourse markers? Second, what is the function or the purpose of discourse markers? And third, I would like you to write down any example of discourse markers that comes to your mind. Now that you have had some warming up time, let's consider the first introductory question. What are discourse markers? A discourse marker is a word or a phrase used in a conversation. A discourse marker is also relatively syntax independent and does not change the meaning of the utterance. It's very important to highlight that you may like to use discourse markers in your everyday conversations in English and also in your oral presentations. So, common discourse markers in English are well, you know, okay, basically, anyway, etc. Now then, what is the function of discourse markets? To answer this second question, we may like to see there are different actions happening in a conversation. Such is the case that we may have a topic of a conversation change, a reformulation or a discourse plan, for instance. In other words, the functions of discourse markers are 1. To signal the speaker's intention to mark a limit and here there is a relationship between utterances. 2. To mark parts of the speaker's discourse and here there is a relationship between the speaker and the message. And 3. To develop a more lively and personal conversation by expressing agreement, involvement and acknowledgement. So, discourse markers can be used to express continuity, agreement, disagreement, to persuade, to correct, to change the topic of the conversation, etc. Ok, let's study now some examples of discourse markers in context. Please remember that discourse markers are used to express acknowledgement, agreement or involvement in an everyday conversation in English. Situation number one. So, you are an engineer. Well, I'll finish my degree in a year or so. Well, functions here as a response of what comes before, being the question here. Situation number two. OK, I see. Anyway, are you coming to visit us this summer? In this situation, we have two examples of discourse markets. OK is being used to express agreement and acknowledgement of a previous sentence. And anyway, on the other hand, aims to express contrast. Situation number three. Thanks for your opinion, Chris. But Chicago is not like New York, you know. You know here acknowledges and connects with the listener. Example number four. That was one of the most boring parties I've ever been to. Still, the music was pretty good. Still shows contrast in this example four. Now, we get to the conclusion of this presentation, but not without asking you some concluding questions to make you aware of what you've learned. By now, you should know what a discourse marker is, 
and also what the functions of these course markers are. You should also be able to recognize different discourse markers that express continuity, agreement, disagreement, contrast, etc. Please include different discourse markers in your everyday conversations in English and make sure to complete the activities presented on Prometeo to develop your independent learning skills. Thank you very much for your attention and have a nice day. Universidad de Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.